I've day trading SPY option contracts, day trading live on a small account, small amounts, day trading live stream every single day from 9 a.m. to 11.30, buy and calls, buy and puts, day trading specifically SPY option contracts. Am I getting it down? Am I losing money? Well, I'm happy to say, guess what? It's November 2022. It's a brand new month. I'm zero on the month. Today, I'm going to be testing a little bit. Some testing, some different situations. I know you guys are going to be a little bit mad about my situation. But here's what I am doing today. I figured out a new game plan in my trading. I've been fine-tuning everything in my option contracts. How am I going to be trading today option contracts? I will be trading November 2nd expiration. Right? That's tomorrow. Let's see. Yeah, I will be trading November 2nd expiration, which is tomorrow's expiration. I will be starting with one contract, but I will be adding one contract. So I'm going up to two contracts today on any single trade. It's only going to be two, two contract max. I should be starting out with two contracts and doing one ad. I'm doing one ad into my trades from now on out. I'm not real good at to, uh, the reason being why am I adding one time into my trades? Because I'm not real good at picking a perfect entry. But I am good if I can just get in and use areas as my situation. So from now on, I'm always going to be doing one ad. I will, I will not be doing a 1-1-2 ad where I add one, one, and then double. It's only going to be a 1-1 one, one ad from here on out. Everything else is going to be the same. The delta is going to be at least 30. Everything's going to be the same. I need the delta to basically be around 50, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to keep the delta around 30. I'm fine-tuning everything out here, man, so I can get this money. I know exactly what I need to do today. I'm going to be trading a little bit more. As you guys can see yesterday, I didn't take a lot of trades yesterday because I just had a hard time entering my trades. But now that I'm going to be doing one, one, then start with two and then with add, then scale out. Yeah, Mike M, I should be doing two contracts and then two more contracts. That would be profitable. The, the, the trading I'm doing right now with a one contract and one contract it's not going to be profitable. I don't think so, but it's going to be pretty darn close. I just got to dial this in for about one week. Next week, I will be going up to two contracts, four contracts. I'll start with two and then do two. I don't know if this is going to be profitable, but it's going to be, it's going to tell me a lot more about my situations out here. And that's what I need to do today. But anyways, here's the spy. Anybody that's here for the very first time, this is my one minute chart, five minute chart, my option contracts, the calls are on the left side, the puts are on the right side, level two, time and sales in my active trader where I buy and sell option contracts live every single day. Let's blow up the spy chart and look at the spy chart. If you guys are trading low flow small cap stocks, ARAV, UBX, RGS, there's a lot of names out here today. PHAS, a lot, a lot of names, man. Monk, you don't stay long enough in trades. I know. I'm, I, I'm still, uh, today, I'm not going to stay a long time in a trade. But when I have four contracts, I will be with, if I get a starter position of one contract, my first profit is $8 per contract. So I'm just going to take that $8 and move on. Uh, if I get into two contracts, my profit will be a little bit more. I have a game plan for today, and I'm going to stick to my game plan. And that's just what I'm going to do. I'm tightening up my strategies right now. Obviously, what I was doing on option contracts was not working. I went back through the last couple months and seen what was I doing wrong 
a lot of the things I was doing wrong was only attached to myself. I, I Some of the trades I took, I was going, what the heck did I take that trade for? Why did I do this? Why did I do that? And it just was not, I was not sticking to my game plan. So this is going to help me stick to my game plan just a little bit more. One to one put to call ratio is close to one to one on the spy and the response it was 1.5 to one. Thank you, dumb money, for saying a lot of crazy stuff out here, man. But you guys know here is the spy. We need to get busy. Here's what I'm doing on this journey right now. This is part two. The come up day 107. My starting balance was $8,339. My current account balance is $8,855. I'm going down, down, and down. The Monkey Army run to $1 million. Happy Halloween. I hope you guys had a great Halloween yesterday. Why are you still wearing your mask? <laughs> you, you, you have Martinez. You guys know, man, how I get down. I'm the monk. I'm trading monkey. There ain't no stop in this journey. I'm standing 10 toes down. Boots on, laced up, I'm ready to go. I'm going to read the self-affirmation. If you can dream it, you can be it, you can have it, you will make it. Please read this uh, at least three times with me. I set goals and go after them with all the determination I can muster. When I do this, my own skills and talents will take me to places that amaze me. I set goals and go after them with all the determination I can muster. When I do this, my own skills and talents will take me to places that amaze me. I set goals and go after them with all the determination I can muster. When I do this, my own skills and talents will take me to places that amaze me. Michael and Greasy, great to see you, man. Watching me, me, B, 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 Y. Yeah, Bed Bath & Beyond, definitely a great, great little stock to be watching. If you guys are looking for a little bit larger cap stocks, uh, you guys know Uber moving up. I think Uber is a short sell right here by $30. I think this is a short, short, short right here. If you can short the market, I think this would be the short sell to me. But maybe it's not. Maybe it goes up. There's also Lyft has a little bit of LYFT, a little sympathy momentum on LYFT. Boom, boom, boom. This one's going up a little bit. This may be another good short sell for today. NIO. This one is being becoming a powerhouse. Look at yesterday. Beautiful, beautiful short sells yesterday, though. But anyways, and Snap yesterday had an A-plus short sell, man. BABA is moving up. A lot of these names are moving up. You guys know we're going into midterm elections. It's coming up pretty close. That's the reason I think the stock market's coming up. But you guys know there's going to be meetings out here. There's going to be news. There's going to be Fed talk. So be careful. The spy, they're not done stepping on the market. You guys know that. I know that. Inflation is too high right now. They're trying to bring inflation down. They're going to raise interest rates. That's just what they do around this joint, man. They're trying to step on the little guy's head. That's how they get ahead in the world. Stepping on our head and then giving us handouts like it's uh, no big deal, man. That's not how I want to live my life. You want to work hard and get where you want to get. Be where you want to be. That's what we are doing in the stock market each and every day, man. Get in where you fit in. Come get your money. That's all you got to do. Come get your money. And that's what I'm doing here. Let's blow up the SPY chart real quick. This is the five-minute chart for this morning, man. And I'm ready to go. Doug, I'm getting pretty damn buff myself, man. I, I've been working out, working out, working out. I got, uh, I'm getting another weight machine soon. I think we are anyway. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm uh, uh, exaggerating. Here we go. Three... Here's what I have for the SPY. I wrote this a little bit ago here. Uh, probably about 20 minutes ago or something. I put this down. The SPY 5-minute chart. This is the pre-market action so far. About 15 minutes ago I did this, I think. The trend is your friend. The SPY has resistance up towards 395, 400, 410. 
is the market really going to make it up to 410 before before it comes down well we have a little few more days we could have a green day today the trend is your friend we have support down here at 380 i'm gonna trade scalp the stock market your trend is your friend look at this all the way up man all the way up look at that beautiful nice and perfect let's look at yesterday's action here on the spy this is the five minute chart every single candle is five minutes of time what did we see yesterday yesterday had perfect action i love to see this action it goes up it comes down it goes up yesterday was choppy chop chop fast consolidation 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 what's it look like on the daily chart well let's go to the daily chart and look what yesterday's action can show us boom 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 here's yesterday let's get a little bit closer the trend is your friend boom all the way up all the way up yesterday a daily pullback are we gonna hold up in this area are we going to continue up today that is the question if we stay above the previous day's high which is 388.40 i believe we have a green day and we keep going up if we come below 388.40 which is that green dotted line on my chart i think we come down but if we stay above it we're probably going up to 395 400 410 which has i have a trend line at 410 coming down boom we have these trend lines that's a steep steep uptrend right now what is going to happen today anybody's guess but you guys know i am taking trades today i'm coming for the money i'm gonna get the money there ain't no stopping us let's look so as long as we stay above let's go back to the five minute chart real quick as long as we stay above this line 388.40 the trend is our friend the trend is our friend man monster muck i'm ready to go man a lot great to hear monster you know how i feel and live everything's connected energy energy and motion man that's what i'm doing wrong i'm not following the energy ball i need to live on the edge I need to live on the edge there why am i taking trades and just losing money when i'm not letting my trades work out why am i giving money away for no reason that's why i'm going down to one contract today with one ad i'm ready to rock i'm ready to roll i got it dialed in what am i going to be trading eventually i'm going to be trading about a 50 delta with a with a two a uh, two starter and a two add so i'll have four contracts and a little bit later on i will start with three contracts with one three add and when i get up to six contracts that's going to be my money making and it's going to make some big big money man when you are taking these trades you keep talking about i'm ready to rock i'm ready to roll today's the day i'm probably going to take about i would say between one and three trades today three and five trades today possibly because today's a little bit more of a test day i'm going to probably take about five trades today but we're going to get it i right now i'm looking for call trades since it's above the previous day's high which is 388.40 which is right here right right here let me put it out here Boom, boom boom right there that's the previous day's high right there and that's my five minute chart boom this is my one minute chart no trade just i see mr monk either scared for the bloodbath or just not a plan for trading i had the plan i just didn't take the trades am i going to anticipate today i could anticipate a couple times just to see how it's going to work out but the trend is my friend i don't want to go against the trend too awful much but today could be a red day i think we still have a green day today truthfully as long as we stay above this line 388.40 the last two days i've been seeing i've been saying red 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 yesterday was choppy 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 
but it was still ended it did end red yesterday from the opening price from the close price it ended red it came down then started grinding up again we've been seeing this action man this action is crazy boom 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 what happens when we grind up in the pre-market or where was that right there bing bada bing bada bang bada boom man boom look at this day we grind it up look at this here's what i see right here we grind it up boom right there and then we took off boom straight up is that what's going to happen today let's get a little bit closer we're grinding up we're grinding up boom are we going to take off are we going to take off or are we going to come down well i'm going to wait the first 5 10 15 minutes before i even decide to take a trade swing away i'm ready to swing for the fences but i'm not trading the first five minutes i will be trading the first five minutes in the future but right now i am not is there any low flow small cap stocks we can be trading out here rgs cvna look at this one phas what else is going on out here sun w Sun W, this could be a good one today, but UBX, this is the stock, man. Look at this. Look at this thing. Great volume, 6 million volume. The float on UBX is around 13 million, according to Finviz. Yahoo Finance, it's a little bit lower, but on Finviz, it's around 13 million. Here we go. Let's look at this coming all the way up. UBX beautiful beautiful trades on this stock great money great 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 money look at that shakalaka boom shakalaka man my ears are freaking ringing today someone's talking about me man let's get this money let's see what else we're gonna do here so one contract starter and then one contract add I got my situation down. I know what I'm looking for. I know how to get in. I will not let the stock, underlying stock price, underlying SPY price, go beyond $1. So if I'm buying two contracts and I'm using about a 30 delta on each trade, I'm risking at most $60 to $80 on each trade. And what is my profit target? Well, if I get one contract, my profit target's around $8. Is that going to work out in the long run? We're going to see. If I get my ad, two contracts, my profit target's going to be around $40. So I'm going to have to have, do you guys know what my risk management, do you guys know my success rate? I'm going to need around a 60-40 success rate for me to be about break even if it's going to work out if it can work out work out work out but when i get up to two contracts and then four contracts as a full size I, it will come down i will need a 50 50 uh base and it will work out a little bit better like that because I'll be holding, uh, it makes sense. And maybe it doesn't make sense to you. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense, man. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Right now, it's a little bit iffy on the fence if I'm going to be profitable with uh, buying only two contracts, you know, but that's okay. Today's all about just testing, riding out these trades as far as I can and doing it. I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to roll, man. I'm ready to get down. Look at this spy. Look at this. Coming right down to some support. Coming back up. And my ears are freaking ringing, man. I got to take this off real quick. Hold on. I'll be back. Oh. Mm-hmm.
My ears are freaking ringing. Mm -mm -mm. Big D taking one contract with possible add of one, but now next week gonna take, yeah, next week I'll start with two contracts and then add up to four contracts. So today's a little bit different. Need to take a little bit of a step back. I'm sorry I have to do that. It's just what I have to do out here, man. I have to take one. I can't keep losing money. The last two months have been horrible, man. I can't keep doing that. And the main reason I lost money these last two months was my own fault. I still would have been red, but not, I, I it would have been around break even. <laughs> still would it would have been around break even but now it's not so we're gonna get it we're gonna do this man today's the day tell me everything you ate over the i think i have a a peanut allergy truthfully i really do man i didn't know this my entire life till right now because every time i eat peanuts or whatever i eat those mixed bags i started getting a headache the next day and then I was going, is it the coffee I'm drinking? What is it I'm drinking, eating, whatever? So I dialed it on in to my nut allergy. So you guys know, man, how my, uh, I gotta let my, uh, <laughs> you guys know what's going on around this joint, man. You became allergic to D's nut, <laughs> D's nut. <laughs> salt, it's not salt, man. It's not the salt. I'm fine. My blood pressure's freaking fine. Yeah, I should stay away from salt too, though. You're right. You are absolutely right. CVNA, look at this one. CVNA, the float on CVNA is 95 million. <clears throat> Today, I'm just not feeling it, man. My ear is hurting. Let me see. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. I got a little chart. I have a pennant. I have a cup and handle. I have a sending triangle. Look at CVNA, man. This is a good one. Carvana. Look at this. This is going to have a great short sell on it today also. Or maybe not today. But, yep. Boom, 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 man. Look at this. This is a good one. This is a monster. This is a powerhouse. You can take long trades on this. Look at CVNA. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Still stays in business. Yeah, is their money right? No, their money is not right, man. Here we go. Let's get back over to the SPY. And just for anybody that's wondering, this clock is only about two seconds fast now. <clears throat> I'm thinking it's options. It could be options. Alex, Michael and Greasy, always great to see you guys here, man. I am having a ball listening to you. Wee wee. It's great to see you. Wee wee. I, I love your name, man. Wee wee. Sounds kind of French, don't it? Don't do so much pizza. Pepperoni pizza. You guys know what's been going on. Stop this train. Let me off. Stop that freaking train. I'm getting off. It's time to get this money. So I'm gonna link my level two to yellow. I'm gonna link my active trader to yellow and I'm gonna be buying some situations out here. Is the SPY just gonna start breaking down today? It's up so much. Look at this. Let, let's look at this chart a little bit more so we can dial it in. AMD still going up. Let's blow this up. Boom. Look at this. Let's go to the hourly chart, the 30 day, one hour chart. What are we seeing? Look at this trend. Every single one of these candles is one hour of time. Look at that, boom. The trend is your friend, the channel. The channel, channel, channel. Look at that channel. We could go all the way up, 395 is gonna be the short sell. But is there going to be call trades up into 395? I don't know. Down here at 380 would be a call trade for the push back up. Boom. And this could be a put trade right there. Boom. All the way down. 
and look what we've been seeing here up down up down up down boom up down we're right in the middle right now are we going to come down are we going to go up we could come all the way down to 380 385 today somewhere in that area what is going to happen i don't know let's get a little bit closer and see what's going on look at this green 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 look at the hourly chart for yesterday boom straight or not yesterday yesterday was choppy i mean but look at this we just busted above this trend right here boom right right there started going all the way up all the way up bing 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 just so you guys know i am in some of these uh in the spy in amd and a few other these uh things i don't like to talk about my swing trades or investing trades so i only talk about my scalp trades remember to always trade your own plan plan your own trade here we go what's gonna happen for today man I'm on the road, Doug. I'm ready to go, man. You guys know, I wish uh, Rowan B would say, we are the number one live day trading channel on YouTube. Self-proclaimed, of course. We do have the trophy to show for it. Here it is. This ain't just my trophy. This is our trophy. UBX. Let's get over to UBX now. Low full small cap stock. Look at this. UBX, breakout trading. Breakout trading at its finest. Let's take a little trade on this. Boom, boom, boom. UBX. Time in force day. I'm going to jump in right here. Actually, I'm not going to jump in. Even though this is a good setup right here, I think we could come up to 4 to $5 on UBX today. Remember to always trade the own plan. We are the number one live day trading channel on YouTube. Self-proclaimed, of course. We do have the trophy to show for it. I'm going to stay with the SPY specifically today. I'm not going to go away from the SPY. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just not. I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to come for this money. Any one trade, I am not risking more than 60 to 80 bucks. That's it. Starting with one contract. UBX, that thing is going to do a gap and go setup. Be careful for a fake out breakout, but I think it goes up to $5. Be careful though. Be careful on UBX. UBX, man. These nuts won't like it. These nuts, man. Uh, my balls are going to be dragging on the floor by the end of the today. My <laughs> Where the heck is Tobin at when you need him? Uh, my balls are going to be dragging on the floor by the end of the day. I'm not going to stop, man. We're going to get this money. I'm going to load up the 392 calls. Let's do it. Let's get ready to rumble. Ding, 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 ding. The market is open. UBX, gap and go setup. UBX, gap and go setup. There you go. Simple, great little trade right there, possibly. Be careful, though. Look at this spy. The spy, I think, is going up. Tesla going straight to the moon. Breakout trade on Tesla all the way up. UBX coming back down a little bit, so we'll have to wait and see. I still like UBX, but be careful on UBX. Could do a fake out breakout on you, but I think a little dip trade is never hurts nobody. Look at uh, the SPY coming down red, red, red now. About 30, good job on Tesla. Buy it straight out the gate. That's how you do that. And if it if it comes down, you stop out. Netflix gonna get over freaking 300 man LCID going up snap going up UPST going up uber over 30 dollars 
look at this man you hear all he manifests let's get this money all the way up nothing can stop us man tesla straight to the moon parabolic tesla straight to the moon ubx doing good man i still like ubx definitely love ubx right there but who knows i would add down into three dollars on ubx look at the spy coming down look at the spy boom wow 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 looking sellers 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 looking like sellers in here 388 i'm gonna wait i'm gonna watch let's get it told you t lithium where are the solid state batteries when you need them they're getting close ubx i hope you guys bought the dip right there buy the dip sell the rip that good little trade on ubx uh, a dip trade never hurt nobody boom 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 man look at you look at the spy coming down tesla's sure to follow if this is going down be careful 32 it's only been two minutes in the market ubx going up up and away i hope you guys are in that thing ubx tsp started going up tsp also going up here tsp boom 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 but ubx is the number one i hope you guys took that look at that little trade right there beautiful beautiful little trade but stay with the spy totally with the spy today those words told you so absurd i'm staying with the spy all day ubx tsp amd tesla go still going up be careful man wow 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 tesla 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 let's get this money so the first five minutes in the market waiting for the market to see what happens here i have the 392 calls loaded up is waiting to see we are fine on tesla tesla is going straight to the moon parabolic man so is ubx agle as a dollar stock agle man i i think i'm gonna load up the puts 388 42 385 i'm i'm doing a delta of 30 i may not be profitable today but that's okay here we go boom just waiting there you go the trend yeah the trend is your friend man the trend it's up up and away i should be doing calls but it's looking a little red to me so i don't know what's gonna happen look at this trend boom i was thinking about taking a put trade i think i'm gonna try a put trade 385 yeah i'm gonna try a put trade here in a little bit this is a risky 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 put trade i'm just gonna wait for this put i'm not gonna do this one first five minutes it's it's very choppy the trend is your friend it's still above 388.40 but you could ride this possibly down i'm gonna look for call trades myself 390 391 395 calls i'm loading up 395 calls wow 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 look at this what is gonna happen i don't see all i see is a uh, no entry for myself as of yet if i was going to take a trade it would be a put trade right here i would take the 385 puts at a dollar 86 i would use that high as my stop <clears throat> I got to remember, 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 remember what I'm doing today. Remember how I'm going to get down. But I'm waiting for the calls. Here it goes. Boom, boom, boom. 395 calls. Good morning. My soul is waiting for it. Uh, yeah, the bounce. I'm looking for this. Look at that long wick on the bottom on the spy there. This thing is going up. Man, the market is so up. 
I hope uh, you guys know Uber, $30 is the top in my opinion for Uber. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get this money. Man, look at that. Look at this going down, down, and down. It's going to be a little while before I take a trade, it looks like. But that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, that was a put trade. Definitely it's a put trade, but I'm just not taking that put trade. Because the trend is your friend. It's still going up. The trend is up. Until it really starts proving itself to the downside, I'm just not going to take it. UBX gave you a little bit of money right there. SONN has support at $2, 193 actually. What is happening out here? The call trades I got loaded up. You watching Amazon? I could put Amazon up on a chart, but let's see. Look at Uber is going Uber's using $30 as support. Using 30. Let's wait, let's watch, let's see, man. Boom boom boom. Coming up. Is this gonna go green now? If this goes all the way up green, if we can get up over the high of date for today, the 390.39, I'm possibly going to take a call trade. EFSH is moving up. EFSH, low volume though. CVNA, I hope you guys are still trading that. CVNA, there's going to be a, a, a short sell on it later. Not yet. I, well, there's no trade for me yet. If there was a trade, I would take a trade. There's just not. What I'm seeing as support is down here by 388. There's just no trade as of yet. I, I still can't take random trades. Random trades equals random results, man. I can't take it. Maybe I should have took that put trade, but I just did not see it as a put trade. I did see it as a put trade, scout put trade, but I just didn't see it as mine. Wow, wow, wow. I'm, I'm ready to get this money, man. I'm waiting. What am I waiting for right now? Well, I guess I can tell you what I'm waiting for. Look at this. Boom, it's coming up, up and away right here. Here is the support. Support, support, support. All the way back up. Is it going to get up over this line up there? This is definite some resistance right here. Resistance by 390. Can it get up over 390? If it does, I'm going to take a call trade here in just a little bit. Here in just a little bit, man. I have the 395 calls loaded up. It only has a 29 delta. I'm waiting for it. Boom, boom, boom. What are we going to do? It's below the VWAP here. Here it comes. Going up a little bit. What are we going to do here? We're still in a choppy situation though. 395. <clears throat> I just can't take a trade in this area. It doesn't know which way it wants to go. You know what I mean? This would just be guessing right here. If I had to guess, I said a put trade. Now I say a call trade. I think this is a call trade using the low a day as your risk, but just not my trade. Don't know which way. It's just so choppy right here. But you could jump in at a dollar seventy two, dollar seventy. Wow, wow, wow. I should be trading the three ninety ones, three nineties. Twos. Look at it go, man. 
look at this going up up and away uh i still kind of did not take a trade because i just i'm just worried about it yet <clears throat> it's still just choppy look at long wicks on the top and the bottom what direction is it gonna go the trend is your friend if you were gonna trade anything you would probably trade to the upside but you know if you know the stock market it's been going up for like three four or five days already so you're thinking it's a pullback it's just it's just not giving us a trade right here you know what i mean i need to know which way it's it wants to go before i take a trade i just don't know right now it's got a huge gap to fill i'm thinking fill it yeah it could go 395 the trend is your friend 395 390 is the support not seeing it though not really seeing it arav let's look at that one arav <clears throat> today's just arav's moving up arav a dollar stock s o n n i hope you guys take some of your profit off on s o n n doing iron condor I i'm not doing nothing on this thing man i'm not going to i'm only trading straight out option contracts here we go are we gonna come down 388 I don't know which way to get a hold of this right now a look at it I've never seen the spy do this at the market open before look at yesterday yesterday picked a direction right on up look at this this day look what it did this day picked a direction right on up every single day it usually does something look at this five ten it looked like it was going up came all the way back down it's just not showing us anything just going straight on through agle is going agle is moving agle just not showing us what it wants to do today a very tough day a very tough day to make money on options especially the more time it just sits here man this is very sketchy very 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 sketchy i see you minimize your risk and increase your chance of profits you're a scalper right yeah but look at this it's in between 390 <clears throat> 13 and 390 50. i can't even make money in between that range right there I can't even make money. I, I, if you can trade this straight outright, yeah, you can make money easily on this right here. But on an option contract, that's just not going to make you the money. And you could get in. What direction do you, it's going to go? You could buy a call. You could buy a put. You know what you're risking anyway. Whatever direction you think it's going to go. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> it's put Tuesday. Yeah, maybe it is a put. Look at Tesla straight to the moon. Look at AGLE straight up. AGLE, man. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Oh, wait. Oh no. Oh no. I wasn't I wasn't looking, man. Look at that. There was my I, I I there was my trade actually Oh well that's okay Who knows what way it was going to go Looks like we're coming down Look at this coming down down and down put Tuesday just like Michael and Greasy said trade something else Great bear trading. This is where I'm going to make my money. This is where how I'm going to get this account to 25,000 right here. <clears throat> this is it. This is it. I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get this money. 
What is the high of that candle? 389. Wow, 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 man. 388. 100k yeah i'm about to do it man i'm about to get this money here what the heck this thing came right on down to the support now i'm just not taking a trade i think i'm gonna trade it to the downside cvna going up up and away wow 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 man not seeing the trade i have to wait for my trade that that's what i seen when i was looking back through my stuff i took random trades if i'm gonna take random trades i deserve random results so even though i did miss out on the trade here i gotta let it go by now too late for me to jump in too too late yeah i didn't take the trade you're right i missed it I should have took it when it pushed below that right there. 389.31. <clears throat> but we'll find out. It's still in between the range. We needed to get below the 388.40. There's going to be some trades on this still. I can't, I can't take a trade if it's going to be random. Random trades, random results. I got to have uh, good stats this time. When I look through some of my old stats, I didn't really always go through my every single trade because I, I have options up. I mean, I, I go through differently, but I watched myself actually and seen all the mistakes I was doing. Horrible, horrible, horrible mistakes. Wow, look at this. Coming down, down, and down, man. 387 puts. Wow, wow, wow. Coming down, down, and down, man. Man, what a trade right there. I'm about to take a put trade. Continuation put, but too hard for me to take a put here. I do have a setup that's coming. I'm gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna take this trade. I'm trying to take an A plus trade today. This is an A plus trade. The 387 puts, and this is an entry right here. 311, 387 puts, right here, $3.11. One add up into 389. But no, not doing it. Three eighty seven three three eleven. Waiting, watching. Stay focused on getting your entry. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for my entry. If I get my entry, I get my entry. Right now, no entry. But it's coming. Look what we're seeing now on the spy. The three ninety was the support. It busted under that trend line. Now we're seeing some weakness in the stock market. Look at this weakness. Boom. But right down in this area, a whole lot of support. Whole lot of support in that area. Boom. Between 385 and 386.50, 387. This is the put trade right here. Put, put, put. But I'm waiting. So three, if you were in the 387s at 311, first profit target would be 319. 319. Oh my gosh, man. There's your first profit target right there. 320. Take it. You want us to be the guinea pig tester? No, I'm just telling you that that's a trade. The reason I talk about that trade, so I, I have it marked. Check mark. Check marked right there, man. 
This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful trade on here. AGLE is going up, up, and away. Look at this. I don't know why I didn't take that trade, though. But I did not. Here we go. Just being consistent. Waiting for the money out here. Doesn't even look like it's probably going to give me an entry, actually. Coming straight down. The 387s are now at 3 You're up $25 a contract. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Oh, that was perfect. Perfect little trade right there. Perfect two trades, man. I just could not take it. Let's see what happens here. You guys know what... Uh, so now it's red on the day. This is, uh, to me, below this previous day's high. I think we come all the way down to 380. Below that, I think we come all the way down to 380. 380 down here. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to watch and I'm going to see. Waiting for the put. If you held that put, if I would have had a put, I didn't have a put yet. Look at this. Red, red, red. I may have to take a, a sketchy put trade here. Put, put, put. Here pretty soon. Gonna wait, gonna watch. Take right. Well, I'm gonna take eight dollars profit. Eight dollars is gonna be my profit. My first, unless I get an ad, and then eight dollar first profit, and then after that, we'll see. Wow! 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 Boom! 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 What are we waiting for here, man? Are we going to come up or are we going to go down? You could get in right here. Maybe I will get in right here. This is not uh, one of my... Never mind. I'm not going to take a random trade again. This is a random... This is a put trade right here. Using 388.40 as your stop. 388.40. The 387s. You could get in at 325. 325. S O N N. Yep, S O N N. I hope you guys got it, man. Just a good little trade right there. What am I doing? I have to be patient on my trades. Just not giving me another entry. Look at that. Oh, man. One of these times, I'm not going to hesitate right there. I didn't really hesitate. I just. I just didn't get it. A-G-L-E all the way up. S-O-N-N -N all the way up. Both of those stocks, great, great traders. A-R-A-V even moving around a little bit. Oh, yeah. I missed it right there. Should have got it. Look at even these trades right here. It looks like it's trying to build a little support, but I think we just come down all day. But I may not even get my entry. If I don't get an entry, I'm not going to get an entry. And that's truth be told. Even though this is a put trade here. Put, put, put trade. It's just not giving me my shot. I'm going to wait for my trade. You focus too much on chat. I know, man. I, I, didn't, I didn't really focus. I'm going to load up a call trade, possibly. Because if this can get back above 388.40, I may take a call. Even though it's a put trade, I may take a call trade. 389. I'm going to trade a 50 delta. Actually... 
Bum bum. I'm gonna trade the 392s. 392 calls. 392 calls. I'm gonna do something here pretty soon, man. It, this is a put trade right here, though. Put, put, put trade. I'm just gonna try to get a little call trade from 388, 40 up to 389. That's what that's gonna be my call. This is a put, put, put trade right now. It's a put trade. Put trade right now. 388, 387 put at $3.30 even. This is a put trade. For now. 387, 330 entry. Put, put, put. A plus setup right there. Not, I mean, not A plus, but it's a good risk management trade. 387 put. But I'm going to wait. If this gets up, up over 388.40, I'm going to take it. 388.40. I will take this. Come on, man. 388.40. Let's see if it's going to make it. Watch Biden decide whether. Yeah, I'm just waiting. I got to wait for my entries. If I don't get an entry, I don't get an entry. I'm not, I don't want to risk money for no reason. You know what I mean? Come on, get on up over that. 388.40, it's still a put trade until it gets back up over that. Smart money, make money. Yeah, smart money, uh, cash is better than losing money. Keeping the cash in your pocket is better than losing money. 388.40. 388.40. This is still a put trade until it gets up over that. What's the low of that candle right there? 387.74. Still a put trade. Mr. Mac, yesterday you found no entry the whole day. No, there was a lot of entries yesterday, but I let them go by. Boom, boom, boom. We'll see what happens here. This not, just still coming down, man. Good put trade still. Put, put, put trade, man. <clears throat> Is it going to get up over this level? Coming down, bear flag. Yeah. I can't believe I'm not getting a, a trade. There's no trade on here, man. No trade for me, only the put trade. Only a put trade. Unless it gets up over 388.40. Nothing. Great job not talking and forcing a trade. Yeah, I'm not going to force a trade. If there's no trade, I'm not going to take it. This is support right here. Should I take it? But it's still a put trade. I could get in and use. What's the low of that? 388.70. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes down. There it goes. Just could not take a good trade, man. 385 put. Bum, bum, bum. Oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me? Eleven bucks right there. Took one trade right there so far. Eleven bucks. I jumped into that weekend. Yeah, I just bought a put right there. Just bought a put. 
I'm going to take another trade in a minute. $11 greed. I got 11 bucks greed. Jumped into that put, man. Look at that thing. I should still be in this, but I only bought one contract. If I had two contracts, I would still be in with one. But nope, 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 man. Held for 10 seconds. Yep, just held, man. A one contract, I'm looking for $8 profit. So we'll see how it's all going to work out here. Wow, 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 man. When are you going to learn? Yeah, I'm learning right now. That's exactly what I'm doing. Exactly what I am doing. Look at that. Huge sell-off. Some capitulation. Bum, bum, bum. We'll see what happens here. Wow, this thing's still trying to come back up here. Oh, man. I hit the buy button again. I should have bought a market order right there. Oh, man. I, try, I hit the buy button again on the 385 puts. I tried to get filled at $2.67. Wow, 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 wow. <clears throat> Is this thing going to come all the way back up? That's the question. I'm still not trusting myself. Still not trusting myself there. 267. Wow, this is an entry. A plus entry right here. A plus entry. I could have had 267 again. This thing is selling off, man. I, I, I got to risk it for the biscuit. Oh my gosh, man. I, oh my gosh, I missed my entry again. I'm, I'm still hesitating a little bit because I'm green on the day, so I started hesitating. Here it comes back up again. Boom, boom, boom. What is going to happen here? I'm hesitating again. I need to be buying right here. This is buy, 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 put. Buy a put. Buy a put. Buy the put. It's selling off so hard, man. Buy a freaking put. Oh, I didn't do it again. I didn't do it. Why didn't I do that? Why didn't I freaking do it, man? Oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me? Is that three dollars? I'd be up forty dollars a contract. Wow, wow, wow. Here we go all the way down. Are we gonna get a big buyer? What a joke. Uh, yeah, I I know that's my profit. I gotta do what I do. Look at this. Coming all the way back down, man. Three thirteen. <laughs> I took another one. I took another one, man. I got, I, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm, I, I don't know. Forget it. I got another little trade right there. Let's go, man. Let's get this money. What is going to happen? It sold off so much right here. This is still trade right here. $3. $3, another entry. Why am I entering right here? Enter, enter, enter. 
three dollars i could have got three dollars enter put 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 come on i keep waiting for too much it's just going straight down today straight straight down wow 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 Let's see what happens. Boom, boom, boom. Give me another entry. This is an entry right here. I missed out on some good entries. Good, good entries. This is an entry 310, 311, 312 right here. Breakdown trade 312, 311. Wow, wow, wow. If I can't make money on a day like today, man, look at that. Another trade right there. Another freaking trade right there. It's going to be a while now. Oh, man. What a beauty. What, what beautiful trades. This is going straight down. Look at this. All the way down. All the way down. Boom. The first trade, the second trade, the third trade. 15 bucks green today at least, man. Look at that trade. I hope you guys are still in this. Writing it down. Man, today was the day to take two, three contracts. Four contracts. <clears throat> I know, man. I know, I know, I know. I'm up $15 now. Look at that. Too late now for me. I'm going to have to wait for a little while longer and we'll see how it reacts here. Boom, 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 man. Man, look at these trades. The first trade. Boom. The second trade, the third trade was right there. We had plenty of time to get in. Boom. And then I took a trade right here. I jumped in right there. Look at that thing go down, down, down. I notice you're good with puts. I, I did exactly what I wanted to today. Exactly what I wanted to, but I never got an ad yet. Because I, I, the reason I, I saved myself for an ad is so I would enter more of these trades instead of getting scared out of the trades. But I still did not enter. I still waited for my ad spot when I should have just took the trade. Jumped right in. A downside. Yeah, it's easier to make money on the downside because it goes quicker, man. Look at that. That there goes uh so Uber is the only stock holding up. I thought that was gonna come straight on down. Look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Today's a thousand dollar day easily. These are the days we're looking for right here. When I do a starter of three contracts, add to six contracts, holding, holding, holding. These are the type of days that is going to make me $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 days like today. I know I'm only doing one contract right now, but I have to dial in my situation, man. Look at that. Dollar going up, market going down. Look at this. Look at that. Right down to the previous day's low. We may bounce right here, remember. We have support at 380, but the previous day is low. This could definitely be a bounce spot. It's right here. Look at that. It was resistance. It was resistance. This could definitely, definitely be a bounce spot. If you were going to take a call trade, this could be a possible call spot. I may take a call, actually. I may take a call. I'm going to load up the 390 calls. 
390 calls. You should get in right now. I, not yet. I don't want to get in right now, no. Even though I, I do think this is a good call spot right here, where would you use as your risk? You're just going to risk right there. 385.32. I wouldn't even risk right there. I would add, do one add below that. This is still coming down. Look at that. This put, put, put. The trend is your friend. I'm not going to trade no call trades today. Only put trades. Only, only puts. So many good puts. Look at all these puts. Put, 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 put. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful day in the neighborhood, man. Way to start the month off green. Way to start the month off green. What With one contract, I don't even know if my strategy is profitable. But I know with two contracts adding up to four contracts, I know those that is profitable. But I still got to test. I can't just jump right in there and do that. I'm going to give this week to do one contract starters. Next week, I'm going to go up to two contract starter and then do one ad. Four contracts. Only put, put, puts today, man. Look at that. Just sell, sell, sell. Nobody's buying nothing. Sell, 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 sell. If you're going to get in a put trade a little bit further out option contract, we could trade, we could trade like December uh, 5th, December 7th, something like that. Where is that? Uh, December 7th, uh, we could trade the puts right here and you think it's coming down to 380. You could trade some puts. But they are, no, I wouldn't trade those. Hold on. December 7th, no. December 5th. Yeah, I would trade December 5th contracts. 380s. $9. Kind of expensive though, but I'm just going to stick to my scalping. November 2nd. Remember, it was washouts for green. Yep, look at that, man. Straight down. If you couldn't make money in that situation, I took my trade right. I took two trades. I took one put trade right here. Or no. I took, I took one put trade right here. I can't even remember where I took them at now. I don't know on the candles. I know 388.40 was the rejection though. Where did I take them? I don't know. But anyways, we are getting it. <clears throat> Tesla, be careful on Tesla, man. Patrick, that's what I'm saying, man. At least you got your money, hopefully. Before get in where you fit in. A T A I S O N N all the way up to 245. There's just no buyers coming in. Look at that. Look at this. No, no, no buyers. Bum, bum, bum. No buyers whatsoever. No buyers. Oh, look at this spy trying to do a reversal. Look on the five minute, kind of a reversal candle. I'm only going to be trading puts today, though. If you are trying to trade, you know there is support right here. If you're going to take a call trade, it's right now. Right, right now. Right now. 386, 387s for 332. Uh, you would do one ad on this, do an ad for sure. 388s, 332. Bum, bum, bum. 
Holding half a second exactly. Yeah. Well, I it is what it is. Uh that I'm scalping. I told you I'm scalping. If I'm getting green, I'm taking green. And that's just what I'm doing. If I'm in a red trade, it's going to be better because I'm going to get my ad. Uh, so my my trades where I actually add are more going to be way better. Look at this coming down, trying to come down. The buyer's buying it back up. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. All the way down. Got me. Got me, got me, got me. Here we go. Let's see if this is going to come up here. Here it is. 387, 388, 330. We'll see if this is going to bounce it all up here. Look how slow it's trying to bounce, though. I'm going to keep the 385 puts loaded up, and I'm going to be ready to go. What's my call trend line? Yeah, 385 right there. That's just the previous day's low right there, 385. I'm looking for the next put trade, though. The next put trade. Maybe we're going to get an all-day grinder up now from this point. All the people that sold are have sold. So it's at 385.86. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know why this is green. Or Bum, bum. There we go. Let's see what's happening out here. Fill that gap. Let's see what happens. Is it going to come up from here? If you were going to take a call trade, it would have been right here. You would have jumped in at 3.30. Is it going to come up? It's looking a little sketchy. I'm going to wait for a put trade, truthfully, and we'll see how it works out. But what am I looking for for a put trade? I'm looking for it to come up a little bit more. I'm looking for it to come up anywhere into this level. That is going to be my put. Put. Put spot right there. I'm waiting for it. But if you wanted to try a call, there's no reason you could not try a call trade because it is holding that support right there. Right at the previous day's low, which has a lot, a lot of support. So, what is going to happen from that point? S-O-N-N -N going up. Are you taking any profit off? Has a lot of resistance at 260, just in case you guys are wondering. 260, but could make it up to $3. Wow, wow, wow. The money is there. Franco, already, uh, go already, son. Yeah, uh, well, $2 was the, hopefully you guys got in at two. It has room up to three. Two, I would say 260 to three, you better be taking your profit, just like I did. I mean, just like, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, right there. Let's get it. Let's get this money. Look at this. All the way down. Oh my gosh, man. Why didn't I take that trade? I, 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 I was spacing off again. I missed my put trade. I missed my freaking put trade. Wow, 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 wow. Can you believe it? Oh, here it comes, getting bought up again. 
385. Oh, good. Look at this. I'm glad I missed my put trade. Coming all the way back up. Look at the buyers come in, man. This thing is looking strong now. Look how strong the buyers came in right there. Is this the time to take a call trade now? Three ninety calls. Three ninety calls. Well, if I get in a call trade, I'm looking for it to keep going up immediately. If it does any sort of big pullback, I'll get out. I'm looking for it. Go and call. This is too funny. Yeah, I'm getting ready to take a call. The reason I'm taking a call is because I just seen the buyers come in. CVNA's going up, SONN's going up too. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. Wait, oh, SONN. Ding a ling ling ling. SONN, $3. It may go up over $3 now. SONN. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? It's all over, but the, it's all over for me. But look, look at that, man. All the way up to $3. Uh, trade against the trend. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a call trade. The trend is still up if you really want to be truthful about it. I'm taking a call trade. I uh, bet you're right. Trade against the trend. Uh, even though this is a call trade, I don't know if I should take the call trade. Call, call, call trade. Maybe I'll try a little call trade here. This is, man, I'm hesitating on my trade again. This is the entry right here. 390 call. It would be the 387 call though. 387 call. I'm letting it go by. 340, 330 it would have been, but we'll say 340. 387 call, 340, one add. 310. 340. Man, I can't believe I didn't take this. This is a call trade. A good, good call trade. I need to take every single trade. I'm still on the fence. If I'm going to get green today, I think I'm just going to stay green today. You know what I mean? I don't want it to get a red day out the month. Start out red. I made 15 bucks today. If I can make $20 a day uh, this whole month, I would be very happy. And then next month, try to make some real money. I would be very, very happy. So it's at 320. Kind of had a bad starter position, though. They should have waited for your starter for 320, and then your ad would be 380. Boom, boom, boom. Or 280, your ad would be. Let's see what happens. Three ten. Let's see what happens here. Three ten. I'm just tra I'm doing a test trade right here. I don't want to take a call trade even though this is. There's 310. So maybe I got filled at 310, maybe I didn't. If I did get filled at 310, my average would be 325. 325. And first profit target would be 333. 
Boom, boom, boom. Just like two years ago, and he kept saying every day you'd have one million by 2023. Yes, Groundhog Monkey, I will have a million dollars by 2023. It's happening. It is happening. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to take this trade out of here, even though this is still a valid trade. Yeah, let's see if 310. I got to be waiting for. Okay, there we go. 325 average. Three twenty-five average. Boom. So underneath, man, I I got my average a little bit too tight, but that's okay. We'll see what happens here. I need to start holding on to some of my trades here. I'm gonna load up the three eighty-five puts. Three eighty-five puts. But like Nice V said, why would you trade against the trend? Bum, bum, bum. Give me some of what you're smoking. All right, just deposit one million. Is that easy? Yeah, man. But we're going to get there. You're going to see. We're going to make it. It wasn't by 2000. It was 2024 anyway, but here we go. Bum, bum, bum. So let's see what the 387s are at 304. So I'm down $20 a contract. That's it. That ain't bad. $20 a contract. I know where my stop would be. It would be right up under the low a day, 385.26. I, I did all my ads a little bit too close. So now you would have, look at this. So 323 it's sitting at right now. 320, you're still in this call trade. 323, 320, 333 would be your first profit. Here we go, 24, 25. Come on. See if this keeps going up here. 323, 324. We can make it. 333. I would take one contract off at $8 a contract, which is $3.33. There's 329. 329. Three thirty. Three thirty five dollars a contract right now. Come on, keep on going. No, nope. still holding on. Of course, it's your fault. I'm trying to see, man. I uh, let's see what. Ha okay, there's three thirty one. Three thirty three would be my first profit. Three thirty three. Three thirty one. 332, 333, right there. So $8 a contract right now. $8 a contract. Now I can put my stop down at $3.13. Can be my stop. 313. Or wait. 317, I mean. 317 can be your stop. Let's see if this thing keeps going up. Come on up. Wow, this thing is going. 317. Boom, boom, boom. Three twenty one, three twenty two. We'll see if this is going to stop us out. Oh, well, that's okay. Not yet. Yep, right there. Stopped out. So that was a break-even trade. There wasn't nothing bad about that trade, though. Break-even trade. You could have even just took your profit there, but you don't want to take your profit. Okay. Boom.
He is learning neutral. I'm learning, man, but you're not in the trade. I know, man. I'm just practicing, 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 practicing. I know my strategy is profitable. It's just going to take a little bit of time for me to get used to it. 384. Three eighty four put. It's having such a hard time. It keeps going up a little and then down a little. Is it going to continue upright here? Can it get up into three eighty seven? It definitely can make it up into three eighty seven here, into that level. That's why you're trading it right. Yeah, I I mean I didn't take that trade right there because of it's just not trade the trend. Like Nice V says, look at the trend. Since the market opened, what is the trend? The trend is down, straight down. It's doing a fish hook right now. So what am I going to do? It's going to be a, a put trade would be the A plus setup. But it has a lot of support down here too. We don't want to get wrecked by this support, which is right there. But we still have room to the downside. Let's see where the real resistance is up here. So maybe we'll wait a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Right there. 387 to 380. Yeah. 387.50. If we could come up there, that is the real deal resistance. I could even take an anticipation trade if we get close to that level. I might even take an anticipation trade. Let's get ready to rumble. Wow, wow, wow. Boom, boom, boom. I'm ready. Say your stop a little past your support and let the trade play out. That's what I need to do, man. I, I'm just looking. I'm watching. I'm seeing. I'm getting ready to take my next trade for sure. But it has a lot of support down here, so I'm a little bit worried. Last time it came down there, 385.54. Wow, 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 man. Lots of resistance up here, too. 386.40. Am I going to get this money? SONN still trading pretty darn good. And I may have to trade that one soon. Again. S-O-N-N. -N. Uh, am I missing out on some money? Possibly. Wow, look at this. Buy the dip, sell the rip. A five-minute pullback. A five-minute pullback. Boom. Lots of support down here. What are we going to see here, man? I don't know what to do here. What are we seeing? We're seeing a Paul DeBald setup if I ever seen it. Boom. Big booby setup. Booby, booby, booby setup. If it comes back down there. <laughs> Big booby. Uh, if you don't know what to do, just sit and watch. That's what I'm doing, sitting and watching. Look at that call trade, man. That call trade definitely, definitely messed me up. Stopped me out, and now it's going up. Wow, that's okay. That will happen sometimes. That will, will happen. Oh, well, that's okay. That's why sometimes when I take my profit too soon... I should have possibly waited for, it's at 338 now. I should have possibly waited for $10 per contract. I'm going to have to figure that out. I don't know right now. I don't know sitting here. He doesn't have a full-time job either, so not sure where he is getting his money. <laughs> Groundhog monkey. I work, man. I work, Groundhog. I'm a, I do construction, man. Here we go, S-O-N-N. -N. S-O-N-N -N, all the way up, man. Let's go. You should, uh, 
Your stop should have been the key row of the swing row, D1 man. I know, Madman, I just don't think I'll be profitable on my type of trading. On another people's type of trading, yes. That would that would be it's just that's just not over time. That's kind of a swing day trade, in my opinion. I'm I'm looking for a scalp trade that potentially turns into an all day hold. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. Yes, I could definitely do that also. You're right about that. You see profits, you take them. Yeah, if I see profits, I take them. That's why I'm trying to get up to four contracts so I can let some of these trades play out. Let some of these plays play out. Play out a little bit more. It's coming up a little bit. Growing higher and higher and higher. Remember what happened yesterday. I don't know if you guys were here yesterday. Or it wasn't live I guess. But look what happened here. Where is that? Right there. Boom. It was going up. It was going up. Grinding up. 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 And then all of a sudden. Whoosh. Straight on down, man. Look how look how long it took to make it that high. It took 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. It took an hour to make it up that high. It took less than 5 minutes to come down all the way back down. Less than 5 minutes. It took a full hour to get up that high, though. Look at that, man. There's some amazing and beyond some ranges. And if you get, if you got the dip or bottom, it should be very easy to hold your profits. Yeah, Joel, that's what I need to start doing. I'm going to start anticipating also, but right now I'm happy with just trying to lock in a little bit of profits. I'm growing, I'm learning, I'm building a legitimate strategy here. Buy the dip, sell the rip, sell the rip, buy the dip. I'm building legitimate situation for options right now. Legitimate. Is it going to work out? We will find out. 383. I mean, I thought I had it already, which I did. Two months ago, I thought I had it figured out. And I did, but myself got involved. And I did not stick to my rules. I started trading random, random trades. And that's what made me lose the most money these last two months. Wow, wow, wow. I have the 383 puts loaded up. I just don't know here. I just don't know here either. I see all the floor chairs on the NYSE are using your situations and strategies. Yes, they do, man. You got that right. Not on options. Nobody does this on options, man. O only the crazy mofos. <laughs> only the crazy mofos, man. And I I'm one of them. I'm getting ready to build this account fast and furious. I'm getting ready to take a trade right now, but it's, it's kind of too low right here. Wow, if I got in right here, 386... Oh my gosh, man. Look at it come down. 660, 70. Right back down on the support. Wow, look at this selling. Oh my gosh, man. <clears throat> I just can't buy a put right here. This is a put trade right here. It's just, I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing it. It's a put right here. $2.63 right here. 383 puts. 383 put. 263. Yeah, missed it. Let it go by again. Oh well, that's okay. 
I didn't buy it. I did not buy it. I did not not buy it. I messed up. I should have bought that right away. I should have bought it. I, I knew what my risk was. I was going to buy right there by 385. As soon as it got under there, right? Uh, 385.54. As soon as it went on up under 385.50, I should have bought right there. And then I could have added into 386 right there. Oh my gosh, man. That would have been a good one. Look at that. No action. You talk, talk, talk. I know. No action. I'm green on the day. And uh, even though this would have added me another uh, $15 to my account right there, which I should have done, I definitely should have done. I still could get in, actually, but I'm too late. Right here is another trade. 380. 383 put right here. This is another trade. 383 put. 274. 274. The ad would be 234. Profit. To 84 and then below that boom 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 gotta let them think it's their idea oh man I cannot get this on an 8 plus K account and you're proud of 15 bucks I'm sorry man I've been losing so much money $15 is better than a minus $50 day Roland B will even say too look at Roland B going look at uh uh, on my losses, on my big red days, my $200 red days, my $200 red days, I kept revenge trading. At least today, I'm not revenge trading. But why am I not revenge trading? Is it because I'm green on the day? Could I do this if I was red on the day? There's your first profit right there. 288 is down to right there another trade there's been two trades right there in that little bit jack of all trades master of none yeah i'm letting the trades go by the trend is your friend you guys can definitely see it we missed out on that trade too boom 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 soon as it topped up there look at that all the way back down one million from trade doug i'm making one million dollars from trading I'm learning each and every day. That's what I'm doing. Learning each and every day. Every single day. That's what this whole uh, thing is about. Learning and building and learning from each other. And you guys don't even know what the future may hold. What am I trying to do here? Who knows? Maybe we'll own a ghost town in the future. I can't make no promises. I'm doing the best I can. Do I want to trade side by side with many of you? Yes, I do. And that's my goal for the future. When this account gets over 25,000, you guys are going to see it. They will hear our name from around the world. The doors will be shut though, but that's okay. That's fine. We'll be in already. We'll be in the warm, building a nice warm fire, uh, drinking a cold one. Either that be a Pepsi, either that be a beer for you. I don't drink alcohol. I don't smoke. I don't do none of that. In my younger days, I went a little overboard, so I slowed down now. It's time to get in where you fit in, man. If you keep letting the trades go by, then how are... Well, Big D, yes, I am letting the trades go by for today, but what am I doing? I'm talking about the trades. I'm looking at these trades. These trades all go into my book, all go into my notebook. The numbers will be there. The numbers will be there. I'll know all the numbers. See all these puts, see all the calls, they will be there. And I'll see which ones is going to be the best. I'm very meticulous in how I move. I'm very meticulous. A lot of people won't work this hard to make this little of money, but I'm, I'm in it for the long game. And that's what I'm doing here. 
Hands race, days race. The way we do anything is the way we do everything. And that's that's the truth. For saying this, but sometimes the way you talk, I really think there is something wrong with you. Josephelle, I'm sorry, man. Sometimes there is something wrong with me. There's it ain't no big deal. Yes, there's something really wrong with me. He's BS so much live. I watch him for plus why do I feel like SONN is going to pop? I don't know, man. It did get up over two sixty, but two sixty to three dollars is the top, in my opinion. In my opinion, let's see what happens. Is a master of none, but still better than a master of one. Is the entire oh a jack of all trades is a master of none, but still better than a master of one. Is the entire saying. <laughs> ain't that the truth man ain't that the freaking truth and that brings me to my thing i'm gonna tell you guys a native american joke if you guys heard it again please bear with me if you heard it before you're gonna hear it again a man he goes into a psychiatrist he's been going i've been having some strange dreams doc and the doc goes what you been dreaming man what you been dreaming about and the guy goes, I've been dreaming I'm a wigwam, I'm a teepee, I'm a wigwam, I'm a teepee. And the doctor goes, relax, man, you're too, ten <laughs> you're too tense, T-W-O-T-E-N-T-S, you're too tense, you get it? <laughs> Do you get it, man? It is chicken dance time, you got it. You guys are absolutely right. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. All the way. I'm, I'm very happy about today. Even though, imagine if you got in this trade. Imagine if we were in these trades with four contracts. In this trade with four contracts. In this trade with four contracts. In this trade with four contracts. You could be holding, 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 holding all the way down to 380. At least one contract to 380. By the time it gets down to 380, it's going to be worth $500 for one contract, $600 for one contract by the time this gets down to 380. Wow, wow, wow. If you bought up here, I mean. Six hundred dollars for one freaking contract. Good job, man. Made the lows of the day. Tesla, yeah, Tesla's down. ARAV is going up. ARAV is going up again. ARAV, look at this. ARAV, boom, boom, boom. This one is a good one too. I've traded this one many, 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 many times. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. It's been all the way up to $10 in the past. Came all the way back down to 58 cents. Just like, uh, let's look at another one. Boom, boom, boom. Z-K-I-N, man, A-R-A-V. We'll see how all these work out in the future. Let me look on here. I got to look at the spy. We're going to we're going to look at the next trade on the spy. Where do you see the trade? You definitely can see a trade still on the spy. You should still be holding this to the downside all the way down to 380. That is the support. Let me pull up the daily chart for you and show you 380 right there. Let's get a little bit closer. 380 we could see a bounce could see one bounce and then going into some reports we may get a little bit of a bounce and then we're going to see another big wreck i don't know i think today's just a red day who knows maybe we end the day green though you never do know boom 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 man heard that what well, where at a dippy you guys know dippy's not coming out to play by the dippy's not coming out man let's get this money you guys know i've been saying for three four weeks since september 1st 
that I was going to be making some videos, having some educational videos come out here. I'm definitely still got that on the burner, but it took a little bit longer to get everything situated for school and stuff like that. So now I'm getting things rocking and rolling. We're going to be, I'm going to get ready to rock and we're going to get this money. We're coming all the way up. I'm ready to come for the money. Look at the trades today. We talked about the trade. We talked about every single trade. We talked about this trade. We talked about that trade underneath the previous. This was the number one trade out here was right there. That was it. Boom, 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 man. And then we talked about this trade. We talked about this trade. We talked about the call trade. We talked about a lot of trades today, definitely. Boom, 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 all the way down. You should be holding this all the way down to 380. Good morning, everyone. Don't forget the disclaimer. As always, trading is tricky. My results are not simple. So don't try to follow me. Trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Take it easy. Assume you're going all the way up. But keeping it real, the stock market is a game of easy come, easy go. Be safe, but stand up. Like I always say, you don't have to stand tall. Just stand up. Just stand up. Just stand up. Please hit the like button. Hands raised, stays raised. 29 likes. Twenty nine likes. Thirty three likes. Thirty five likes. Thirty five likes. Please hit the like button. Thirty seven. Thirty eight likes. The pig has came out to play, man. Thank you guys for hitting the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. It really truly does mean a lot to me it really does help the channel out and that means a lot to me too i got to show you guys a trade that's coming up ubx 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 low float small cap stock ubx there's no trade on the spy right now for me unless you're just trading weakness i have a lot of support on ubx at two dollars and 92 cents you're a little bit late but it does have some support it is coming up it could make it up. I think this one could have a power hour move. UBX 292. This could be the low of the day today. But be careful. Remember to always be careful. Maybe it's just going to come down. As long as it stays above 290, 280, then I think we come up here. 280, 290. Let's go, man. With enzymes. Let's get it. Hey there, Paul DeBald's in the house. Paul DeBald, what do you got to say today, man? Is there anything, uh, any knowledge you want to tell us? Paul DeBald, you guys know Paul DeBald's look on the world. You guys know his look out there. He he uh, listens to a great singer. One of the singers, I uh, one of his lines is, snowflakes melt when it's hot, kid. What, what's his name again? Uh, McDonald. Rob McDonald, I think his name is, man. Need to train that monkey to hit the dartboard. I know, man. Gee, crazy. I got to get this show on the road. I'm sorry. I had to slow my roll a little bit. You guys seen how much money I was losing. I had to slow it down. I have to screech it to a halt. I got to start turning it in the other direction. Walnuts, man. And of course, carrot juice, beet juice, and walnuts. <laughs> Texas. Let's do it, man. Oh, Tom McDonald. That's his new one. Uh, sheep. Uh, oh, yeah. 
I, if you guys haven't listened to the singer, his name's Tom McDonald. There's a new one out. Paul DeBald says, sheep. <laughs> sheep. Sheeple. Sheeple. I got to listen to that. I'm going to listen to that here in a little bit, man. I can't wait to check that out. I'm going to check that out. Rob McDonald again. Uh, Ronald McDonald. Not Ron. Tom McDonald. Tom McDonald. He's on YouTube, man. I, I keep forgetting. Sometimes I listen to him. Sometimes I don't. I need to put him on my Spotify, man. Uh, some sheeple out there. That's me. I'm a sheeple. <laughs> I'm a freaking sheeple, man. You guys are my friends. You guys are basically my family. Thank you guys for helping me learn the stock market. Zona J's in the house. Great to see you, Zona J. Great to see everybody out here today. Just not a lot going on for myself. UBX, is it going to stay above 292? We also have SONN, I mean ARAV, which could go up a little bit higher. But I like UBX, but maybe that's done for the day, actually. UBX, S A R A V has a lot of support, a lot of resistance. If this gets over two, it may go a lot higher. Happy now. Yeah, one banana a day keeps the freaking doctor away. One freaking banana a day, man. ATAI is moving up also. Don't forget about this one. ATAI. I like this stock too. But we'll find something to trade out here. ATAI. I, I, I like UBX the best, truthfully. But be careful, UBX. I I don't have a I don't have my finger on it, so I don't really know. All I know is it has support at two ninety two. Buy is slow. Yeah, it's still going down. Still going down. Let's trade ATAI a little bit. The spy is going down to three eighty. Three eighty all day bleed today on the spy. If you can get in. Uh, all day bleed, man. Look at that. Boom. A little pullback. One pullback. Boom. Second pullback. Still has a long ways down. Actually, there is another trade coming up. Let's get over here. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. Yellow. Yellow, 382s, 380s, 380 puts right there. Three eighty puts getting ready to take this trade. Wow, wow, wow. Has a lot of room to the downside. A little bit of support at 382. But it still has a lot of room to the downside. ATAI is going up. ATAI. Wow, wow, wow. Am I going to risk it for the biscuit? Should I risk it for the freaking biscuit? I'm going to get it, man. Yeah, Tom McDonald, man. I love his music, too. Here, okay. I'm not going to take it again, even though this is a trade for me. Uh, I'm not taking it. I'm letting. I'm. I'm going to keep my green day behind me. I'm keeping it, even though this is it. Dollar ninety five. Boom. Dollar ninety five. Three eighty. Oh. Three eighty. Put. Dollar ninety five. Boom. Right there. That's the entry. One ad, which would be way up there, 385. So the ad would be dollar sixty-five, dollar fifty-five, dollar fifty-five ad. Let's see what happens on this trade. It would get my like Tang Monkey Funny Shit. Is that banana live before 930? We'll do amazing things. Yeah, before uh, I'm going to show you uh, some of my trading in the future. 
I will definitely, definitely show you some of my trading in the future. Here we go. UBX is at $3. Is it just going to come down? I really do think above 280, 292 right there. We we at least see 330, 340, but it could be done. Could definitely be done. ATA is moving up and ARAV. Let's see what happens. First profit. Two oh five. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see if this thing's going to make it. I just don't know. <clears throat> Definitely an okay trade. I'm not I'm not taking this trade 380 put though. We'll see if it can come down. Needs to break under the lows here pretty quick. You guys see where it's holding up at though. It's holding up at the 383.58. Yeah, 383.58 needs to get below that. I kind of got a high entry right there, which was not the best, but oh well. This ad is no longer valid. This ad is no longer valid. $1.95. Come on down. Needs to break on down here. Dollar ninety five. Come on down. My stop's going to be pretty tight on this trade. We'll see. We will see. Drugs, what's your average price? It's a dollar ninety five. I I just took the worst entry I could on it. A dollar ninety one was probably a realistic uh, entry, or even a dollar eighty five. A dollar eighty five to a dollar ninety one was probably the realistic entry. But I said a dollar ninety five just because it's the worst. Here we go. Where is the stop going to be? Well, the stop is going to be right up over this candle now which is 384.29, not yet. The stop is still up here. 384.50. Is it going to come down? This thing is just sitting here, sitting here, and sitting here. Looking for this to break down here. I'm watching ATAI, UBX, finding the support at 3. 292 is the support, but... We'll see if it can get back up to 320, 330, 340. Can it even close higher today above four? Possibly. Where's all the pump and dump stocks? UBX is the one right now to me, but ARAV, SONN, ATAI, those are some good stocks too. Uber, all the way up to 31. Where is it going to close by the end of the day? Will it be back down to 29, 28, 27? I just don't know. Hold on. Is it going to go? I just want to see how much I would lose on this trade. Not stopping yet. So here we go. The high of that candle is my stop. 384.28 is my stop. 384.28. 384.28 would be the stop. Not stopped out yet. Man, this stock is just sitting here. The spy is just sitting here, sitting here. 384.28. Let's see. This is going to be a loser. Not yet. 
There it goes. 180. 178. 188. So about $17 a contract I would have lost right there. But should did I stop out too soon is the question. So that trade, garbage trade. Glad I didn't take it. Would have stopped out and now it's coming down. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Could have gave it a second longer. On the same chart, different tick. Yeah, I, I like my max loss is 300. Max loss of what, $13? On what, on, no. I, it's uh, 60 to $80 is my max loss per trade. $30 per contract is my max loss around there. 30 to $35 per contract. But I usually get my ad on there. I should have just stopped out right there. I mean, I should have kept this trade going. Look at this. Just building that little bear flag. Look at that. What a place to stop out. I would have stopped out too. And look, now you're going to be green on the trade. I should have gave it a little more time. A little more time. Nothing wrong with a little more time. Look how tight the ranges are. I need to let it have some time. Look at it. It didn't even bust above anything. There was no reason to get out of that trade. No reason to get out. And I did it. I was just trying to keep my stop tight. But... Why didn't I just leave it alone? Why didn't I leave it alone and still get my ad up into that level? I just didn't. Didn't, didn't, didn't. <clears throat> yeah. Your ads and cuts are too close. Yeah, Paul DeBald, my ad, my ads are a little bit tight. I, I, I'm, I'm still fluctuating on my ad spots. And I'm still fluctuating on my stops a little bit. Yeah, I'm still fluctuating on a few things. I'm still trying to dial it in. I know the strategy is profitable. It's just I got to wait for my correct setup. And when I get to four contract or three to six contracts, I'm going to do a starter with three, add three. That That is the killer profit. I, I should be making $600 a day, $800 a day when it's at that point. Well, actually two to 600 but boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Look at this. Too tight. Two dollars. You're, you're up. You're green on the trade. Did not let this trade play out. Did not let the freaking trade play out. That's okay. And he didn't know how good year it was and still is here. All right, I got to get out of here, guys. I know it's a little bit early today, but oh, wait. Let's go trade uh, low for small cap stock. UBX. Uh, actually, UBX, this is a good one. I hope you guys keep an eye on this. And EFSH. Let's go look at this. No. Low volume. So UBX, I will be trading UBX. And I will be trading uh, a couple other ones, actually. All right, I got to get out of here, man. Let's do it. Didn't even break 100 viewers today. Oh, I'm sorry, Coca-Cola. I'm just doing what I do every single day. And that's what I do. It's fine. Coca-Cola, we're not here for all the viewers. We're here for the monkey army. That's what we're here for. Let's get this money all the way up. Nothing can stop us, man. Have a great day, Paul DeBald. I'll see you guys in the morning bright and early. Have a great day.